Hi, I'm Laura, the Life Sciences Manager of Carnivores and Ungulates here at Melbourne Zoo. I bet you know what a carnivore is, but what's an ungulate? Ungulates are a wide collection of species that cover a variety of hoofed mammals. They can be as big as a giraffe or as tiny as the collared peccary. And our ungulates have been busy lately. Our giraffe Nakuru recently had some dental x-rays performed to have a look at her teeth. Nakuru is one of our beautiful giraffe here at Melbourne Zoo. She's a 12 year old female and we have been monitoring her teeth for quite a while here as part of our regular monitoring uh, with our whole herd. And on our last x-ray that we did with Nakuru, we noticed that she had uh, a little bit of a gap in one of her teeth. So we're here today to just check it out and see uh, where it's at now. So we spent a lot of time training the crew for her voluntary dental checks. Uh, involved a lot of work with her, getting her used to having all the setup there, so the plate and the x-ray machine. And then we've been slowly building her confidence with using the specialist while he's here as well. But the main thing for her is she gets lots of nice treats while she does her training. Recently, we welcomed a group of wonderful Niala from the Werribee Open Range Zoo. Felix, our pygmy hippo, has learnt a whole host of different training techniques, allowing keepers the ability to inspect and take care of different parts of his body. Felix uh, gets a lovely little regime of uh, skin care and, and foot care here at Melbourne Zoo. We use things like QV oil to keep his skin nice and protected. Sometimes if his skin dries out, he can get big cracks and things, so we do this treatment to avoid any of that work and also keep him looking nice and healthy. And then for his feet, we uh, treat them a couple of times a week with some hoof oil to keep them nice and hard. Uh, and then we'll even get him to lay down and roll over and show us the bottom of his feet so we can check out his feet and give him a nice little uh, pamper there as well. So I'm working with an animal like Felix, uh, he is a little hippo, but he's a heavy little hippo at 270 kilos, so getting him to help us with his health care is really important and his feet are no different. So the cool thing about hippos is when they are out on the land, they actually produce an acid called hippocyduric acid, which then is like a sunscreen for them. It's also like an antibacterial for them, keeps their skin nice and healthy and nice and clean and helps them look after themselves out in the wild. Our smallest ungulates, the collared peccaries, are taking part in their monthly weighing. To weigh the peccaries at Melbourne Zoo, we encourage them to come into their training chute where we give them some peanuts to encourage them to stand on the scale and remain there for a moment so we can get a still weight on them. And we also touch around their hips so we can feel their condition against their hip bones to get a good idea of the condition under all of that hair. Uh, so we always make sure they're sitting around 24 to 26 kilos for these three. Peccary aren't pigs, they come from a different part of the world, so the peccary are found in North, Central and South Americas, while the normal pig or wild boar is found in Europe, Asia and Africa. Uh, you can tell the difference of, between them is uh, peccary has got a really small stubby tail that's almost hard to see under all that hair, while the normal pig has got a longer tail that can stand out or even be curled up. Uh, the peccaries make a few noises, they can make some little barking noises at each other, or if they're being protective over their food, sometimes they'll chatter their teeth together to make a really loud clacking noise. So you might see the peccaries scent marking around their enclosure, where they'll rub their backside onto some of the logs around just to mark out their territories. It's a really good and musky smell that you might notice when you're walking past. <laughs> 